Good morning, you guys. So I'm just getting up. I had to call CVS and my doctor's office so I can hopefully get my pain medication for this weekend. Um, I'm about to make cold brew coffee. I'm going to be making matcha tea later for Delia. Um, and I'm making tea for myself. And yeah, hopefully I just get my pain medication today. <laughs> It'd be really nice. So I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, so I'm literally spending my morning, or my day so far, my afternoon, um, just literally not even talking to doctors or whatever, like literally just trying to talk to the offices to get things to go through. Um, I haven't been on pain medication. I was on it for a week and then I had a seizure, I had to come off of it. I haven't been on anything for over a week now and then for like three weeks before that I wasn't on anything. Um, so it's just been, you know, I just haven't been on pain medication. <clears throat> and so my doctor, um, my doctor approved, like wanted me to start taking a medication on Wednesday. It didn't go through on Wednesday. Then yesterday I called to the office and CVS. It hadn't gone through at all. So then I called four times this morning and it finally went through, but it was, I went through on the fifth time where they kept saying that they were redirecting my callers, whatever. And so now, finally, um, I spoke to somebody who said that they're going to call the insurance, like literally right now, um, and that they'll call me back. But with all the times I tried to get in contact with them yesterday and this morning, um, nobody had even started the prior authorization. But this is like stuff that people don't talk about enough. But this is really frustrating, and this is really, really, really common. Common. So, yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just hoping I can get it today. Um, and then I have to change my Spotify because I guess it, it stopped. I'm doing students, a student thing, but I got charged the full amount, so I have to go and uh, change that, so. Hmm. Hey you guys, so I have a few things to update on. Um, so I spent literally six hours of my day um, contacting my doctor's office, the pharmacy, and um, my insurance. Literally like on and off the phone all day. And it turns out that they would only, the medication that I need to take, um, the medication that's safe is brand name. And I was taking the tramadol um, because it, it was the closest thing to it, but was uh, cheaper. So when I actually got the tramadol, I got, I got like a lot of pills, like 90 or something for like $1.50 or something like that. And the medication that I am supposed to be on, um, the insurance will only cover it so that we would have to pay $60 out of pocket. And the, the thing is, because I can't take the tramadol because it causes seizures, um, I shouldn't have to have to pay like a lot extra um, uh, to have this medication be approved because there isn't like medical need um, or there's a, a reason that I'm, I can't be on tramadol. Um, like, I don't even know how to word this. Like it's, it, it it's medically unsafe basically for me to, for me to um, to be on the tramadol, and so I need to have an an alternative option. Um, so basically, long story short, um, after spending six hours on and off the phone, um, I am not getting my pain medication, and I will not be getting it um, until Wednesday when I see my my pain management doctor. So to 
like put it lightly i was extremely extremely frustrated and just upset and mad because i've been i i mean my pain hasn't been managed correctly for like six weeks like you know i'm, I'm waking up and counting down the hours that I, like until i can fall asleep again because of how bad the pain is um i cried i let it go i feel fine ish now um just had to kind of come to the terms that i'm not gonna have this medication i'm looking for something that i don't know where it is um for my my phone to charge it um oh and we are watching the west virginia university game um against villanova if i haven't mentioned it before um i went to wvu for two years and then had to transfer to Fredonia, where I met Adrian. So I have my, um, I was also a student athlete. I was actually on the men's team um, for um, rowing or crew, whatever you want to call it. And um, I was a coxswain for two years. I could totally do a video about that. That would actually be pretty cool. Um, so I'd love to do that. That's actually a really good idea. I should do that. I'm gonna do that guys, I'm gonna do that, but this is what I had to represent WVU, so they are playing Villanova and we're watching it right now, so hopefully I have good news when I come back to talk to you guys again. <laughs> I had like an okay night, sorry, I was just got tangled in my tangled in my um my line. Um saw a few of Adrian's friends, watched a few basketball games, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um so I did make more cold brew coffee this morning and so um now i'd show you guys but it's a really 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 boring process um to strain it out um because you have to catch all of like the gross grounds and stuff so i'll just show you guys the final product and everything but um yeah i was just crocheting my blanket and we just are hanging out so um i'm just dealing with being very like frustrated with everything tonight I don't even think it's anxiety I think I'm just having like a bad a bad night mentally a bad day but um yeah I'll show you guys the final product okay so it's in this like container I put a funnel in it and then a coffee filter on top and this is how it looks so it looks really disgusting when you're filtering it so this is basically the setup and the process <laughs> 